Hey friends, Ben Gothard here with Project Egg, and I want to very quickly show you how to use Restream.io. Once you start your free trial or you uh, upgrade to a specific package, it's just really not that expensive, you'll be taken to the dashboard here. And as you can see, I've added a lot of channels. And the only thing that you have to do to add these channels is to click Add Channel. It's very easy. They make it very, very convenient for you. And you go in and let's say you want to connect to your Facebook profile. You just go in here, you connect to Facebook, It'll do the little integration thing, uh, and then you'll just have to click allow, change a couple of settings, and then you can decide what Restream has access to. And then you can choose between, as you can see, the profile, page, and group. Uh, and then I would recommend clicking save. I would also recommend then going through all of these different channels. A lot of them have API connections just like that, so it's very, very easy to get up and running and it is good to go. Then once you have all the channels that you want added in, what I would suggest doing is to go into the titles and you can update your stream title. So that's what the uh, people will see on, uh, on that specific platform. So for example, when I go live on my Facebook page, this is the title that they see uh, and there is a description that you can put in and if you're streaming a game, you can enter the game in here. And then you can do a quick update all, or you can go through individually. And it's very, very easy, very, very simple. And then when you're ready to go live, all you need to do is come into here uh, and you can have a little message here that sends out to the people. So that's pretty much it. The beauty of the platform is that you can do some cool things. So you can do a chat, there's a chat, product here that you can download or uh, put it in the browser. Um, you can check out your analytics. Um, they have a pretty uh, pretty interesting uh, analytics platform here that gives you some useful information. And then you can also go into uh, a scheduling mode where you can schedule a live broadcast uh, to be, uh, or a previously recorded broadcast um, to be then broadcasted live uh, by clicking this little calendar thing. So it's really easy to set up to get rolling and it is very, very powerful. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Uh, if you have any questions at all whatsoever, um, drop a comment or communicate with me in some way and I'd be happy to share my experiences.